are at the head of the parade, and who would you expect at the head of the parade? But his nibs, uh, the mayor of the Great Park City Acalde. of Bridgeport. Acalde. 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 Is that right? That's Spanish for mayor. For mayor. <laughs> and, and you have had a uh, a mayor come up from Puerto Rico to celebrate as well. Mayor Alejandro Carrion from uh, Junco brought his folklore dance troupe, which everybody should see, and a, a, a folk band, uh, and they are world renowned. They just came back from Mallorca, Spain, and we're fifth in the world. So we're here in Bridgeport today celebrating the Puerto Rican culture with our friends at Pivot Ministries and the Attorney General Blumenthal. Everybody's here. It's great. Oh, it is just amazing. So uh, Congress the food down in Seaside Park. Looking forward to that. You know me and food, of course. Um, Congressman Himes and his family are here, oh, so uh, yeah. they're excited to be a part of this event. And the weather cooperated beautifully. The weather, we ordered this by special ordinance of the Latino Coalition on the City Council, the Latino Caucus. But uh, today, Dave, we say there's only two kinds of people in Bridgeport, Puerto Ricans and those that wish they were. I'm in the latter category, having a great time. Well, now, to that end, what, what has the influx of Puerto Ricans meant to the city of Bridgeport? Oh, well, in the faith community, in the business community, in the political arena, the Puerto Rican people and all Latinos in Bridgeport, Peruvians, Costa Ricans, Ecuadorians, Dominicans, I'm forgetting some, the Mexicans, uh, they are very, very involved in all of the categories and uh, they make their contribution. Uh, the Brazilians now are some of the newer people moving in and they own businesses, uh, they fix the houses up, they're very family oriented. It's great for the stability of the middle class of the city of Bridgeport. Seems that everybody is very active and that's something that's critical, isn't it, to uh, the resurgence of the city? It's almost like, uh, you know, the frustrating thing for us sometimes is Puerto Ricans in Puerto Rico vote 98% and here it's a little bit less than that. So we want to have them be more Puerto Rican when they're in Bridgeport and keep that voting habit up. Uh, but seriously, they are extraordinarily active in the Bridgeport community. Bridgeport would be a shadow of itself without the Puerto Rican and the Latinos in Bridgeport. Well, congratulations on that and more active uh, people of all sort in this Park City, one of the great melting pots of, uh, of this nation. And congratulations on the work you're doing. Oh, thank you, David. And please, everybody come enjoy Puerto Rican Day in Bridgeport. Don't get too burned now, you know. It's a I little have, sunny uh, out there. We have 45 and a beautiful Spanish hat uh, and sunglasses. I'm protected. <laughs> and my Guayabera is keeping me nice and cool. There are just amazing numbers of people here, and look at this, the Attorney General of the great state of Connecticut is with us, Richard Blumenthal. Dick, it's nice to see you. Good to see you. Great parade. Isn't this something? It's, it's, it hasn't even started, and it's a great parade. Everybody is so enthusiastic, and you always are at all that's going on here in the state. Well, Have you been to many of these already? I come every year to this parade because it has such a great spirit and turnout in the streets. It's a real old-fashioned street parade where people turn out, they have a good time cheering, and you know they bring their kids, and it's just a very family-oriented day. And it looks like it is growing like crazy. It seems to me we've already got more people than we've seen in years gone by. And, of course, the weather's cooperating there, too. People are out for these parades. I saw over the 4th of July weekend, and now this one, people really want to get out while the weather is good, but particularly for parades that kind of bring energy and enthusiasm and uh, all kinds of great spirit. They're very eager to be out and be part of it. Of course, the, the Puerto Rican influx in the state of Connecticut has been great. What, what does it mean to the state as a whole? Largest growing segment of our population, the Spanish-speaking and Latino group, is growing faster than any other ethnic group in the state, any other language-speaking group. And, of course, it is a diverse group. It's not just Puerto Rican. But I think there's an identification with the Spanish-speaking heritage and culture that is epitomized by this kind of parade. And so I think it's a, it's a real landmark for all of us in Fairfield County and the state of Connecticut. 
I'll tell you what, we're so glad to have you here. I know you've got a very busy day and a lot of marching to be done. Thanks so much for stopping Thank you. by. Great to be with you. Thank Real you. pleasure. 16th Annual Fairfield County Puerto Rican Day Parade well underway. The Attorney General with us and so many others. We'll catch up with a bunch more as we take you on through this beautiful, beautiful day. Be back. The Adventures of the Wireless Wizard. The Wireless Wizard specializes in cellular repair for any phone, any service, any problem. So why go anywhere else where you're going to wait on hold forever, pay for shipping, and then wait two weeks for your phone to be ready? And you can come to us for same-day cellular repair. Even if you lose your phone, we offer replacements for $24.99. That's the Wireless Wizard, 1905 Boston Avenue on the Bridgeport Stratford Line. Any phone, any service, any problem. And we are so glad to be able to catch up with the uh, Grand Marshal of the parade, Dr. Philip Guzman of the uh, Child Guidance Center of Fairfield County. Hey, congratulations uh, on the honor of being the, uh, the Grand Marshal and to be leading things off on a beautiful day. No, it's a wonderful day, and I'm really kind of not only honored, but I'm really privileged to be selected for the Grand Marshal. It's, uh, for me, a, a, a privilege. Well, you, you have your left-hand woman Yes. Right here at your, at your hip, and I, I suspect that she's an inspiration uh, in your work as well as in your play. Yeah, she's my motivation. This is Nancy Moscoso Guzman. And, uh, Hi, 30 years. 30 years. 30 years. Right, right. That's longer than the parade's been going. <laughs> Boy, you're, you guys are, are very good. We're good. We're, we're very happy. Thank you. You know, in, in these troublesome economic times, uh, you all are being called on more than ever. I don't have to tell you anything about that. You know how tough it is. How are things doing? Well, we are... Uh, getting by we're doing fairly well not you know we're not uh, increasing but we uh, we have more people coming to our clinics now because of the pressure the economic pressures on families so but we're managing we're doing fairly well how, how are we doing with the funding end of things with the state's uh, difficulties and so forth we're hoping and holding our breath until the governor signs <laughs> and the legislature signs a budget uh, but right now we're just meeting our uh, expenses this month and hopefully next month after that we'll have to wait and see do you get to keep your sash? I do. It is my sash. I was telling my wife, this is, uh, this is my symbol. I'm going to wear it all over the house now. <laughs> Nancy, don't let him get away with everything at home just because he's the Grand Marshal here. You know? I love kissing rings. <laughs> there, are certain, there are privileges to the sash. I'm going to exercise all of them. <laughs> well, don't get too burned along the way. Congratulations you, to you both. It. So nice to meet you, Nancy. Doctor, thank, thank you very you. much. Well done. Okay. Real pleasure. There you are, the Grand Marshal of this fabulous 16th parade, and it's just about off and running now. With you over here, Don. Giovanni. Giovanni. What do you think about this parade? I love it. I love the music. I love the dancing. I love everything about it. How important is is the culture to Bridgeport and, and the surrounding area? I think it's very important. Everybody comes out and supports it. They have such a good time here. It's amazing. Well, I'll tell you. Have you been here before? Yes. Well, this seems to be bigger and better than ever before, and the weather was perfect. Yes, it was perfect. It's nice. It's got a nice breeze out here. The, I like the streamers, everything. <laughs> well, congratulations, and may it be a wonderful day for you. Thank you very much. Well. <laughs> Well, as you can see, there has been plenty of enthusiasm, and yet it's only just beginning because Seaside Park is going to be alive with music and fun for the rest of the afternoon. 16th Annual Fairfield County Puerto Rican Day Parade. Hey, maybe we'll see you at the 17th. For a beautiful day and a great parade, I'm David Smith.